everybody in YouTube land, it's DC here. Um, for all my subscribers, I won't be doing any videos for a while. I'm doing some more studying and I'm also going on holiday. So there won't be any more videos for a good while. Um, as this is my last video, I'm just going to share where I'm up to at the moment with Nikola Tesla and the Spark Gap. And what we got on the whiteboard today, we've got volts. And volts in, is in, in terms of pressure, in terms of electric. Uh, this column here rep represents a tube filled with water. And I was wondering why Nikola Tesla was going from like high voltage, high voltage. And quite naturally, if you look at uh, water and use water analogy, if you have a small hole dr dr drilled low down in this tube, obviously the water at this point is at higher pressure than this point. So the pressure would go out, the, a jet of water would go out quite a distance. This represents the ground and distance. And obviously a hole drill higher up the vessel would go out less distance and obviously another hole higher up would go out even less. So um, my understanding now is um, the, the difference between pulsed electric, if you like, a frequency and AC frequency and obviously there's a, there's a, a vast difference and um, what I'm asking you to think of today is the difference in pressure in volts between uh, pulsed and AC electric and um, try and focus everything on the spark gap. So if we've got a spark gap here and we, we look out in distance we can have a frequency which can be AC or DC. So this spark gap can be pulsed in AC or DC so it can, it can either be Hertzian or it can be a flash like lightning and what I'm suggesting here the connection between the pressure in volts and the pulsation or um, the, yes the pulsation against frequency is what I'm trying to say and if you try and imagine the ether as uh, a unit a field a field unit it's about tuning the pulsating unit, the, pulsa the pulsations of frequency, which will connect with the ether. So it's about distance. So that's what I'd like you to consider today in terms of um, scalar. And really that's where I'm up to with my study. Um, this last diagram, I'm just trying to show the connection along the way in pulse technology and how it affects the, the TX and the RX and the grounding the grounding is a very important connection I hope you understand where I'm coming from with this lot um, that's where I'm up to in my studies and um, to all those of you out there that um, are looking at my channel I say thank you very much and I will be doing more videos but not just for a while, maybe two or three months or even longer. Thank you, this is DC signing out.